of the last seven elections. Why would the Republicans want to disrupt their only chances to win the presidency outright when two of those three Republican presidents, Bush once, Bush twice, George W., and then Donald Trump, two of the three times and they Jackson, won, and they, Jackson, they and won with a minority yeah. of the vote. So they have no incentive to change that. Now, there are other avenues out there to do so, but if you look at the historical nature of why the Founding Fathers wanted the Electoral College, it was really wrapped up in the desire of slave states to have a greater say in the government. Well, thank God we abolished slavery under a Republican president. Um, to The question becomes today, why don't you win the election if you get more votes than your opponent? We're the only country. <laughs> I don't know of any other country that uses the electoral uh, voting system. Do you? Well, most uh, many of the countries around the world use a parliamentary form right. of government where right. you have to build a governing coalition based on who got the most amount right. of votes. Right, but it's still the popular vote. Right. But, but We're the, the only the country. The point is, if people say, well, the Electoral College guarantees that people in the small states will be listened to, that's saying that the minority in this country can still elect a, a president why aren't the votes of people in large states like California, New York, and Illinois counted equally with the votes of people in Wyoming or South Dakota or Oklahoma? And so the Electoral College creates a disparity in which but President-elect Trump has been saying for months the, the system is rigged. Right. He just had proof of that. The person who got the most votes didn't win the election. Not only that, we've seen... Um, Individuals in, in various states try to rig the election to suppress the votes of minorities. We've seen the Russian intelligence community attempt to hack into the Secretary of State's office in several states, including Illinois, to manipulate the vote. Well, so there's know, a national mo movement right now right. called Audit the Vote. Right, and I know that the Senator audit the vote, Barbara Boxer no, this is introducing legislation. But, the, the, but the, the, audit, the Audit the Vote movement says... How do we know that the numbers that appeared on the computerized systems are the actual votes? Well, actually, Barry, I want to invite you back because I see my credits are okay. rolling. Uh -huh. And I want to, we have so much, look at all the papers that Plenty we have here. About. We have another show, one, one right after another. And I really enjoy having you.